Hey guys, it's Dr. Dobson. Uh, we're going to be doing a 1-5-DO in this video. Uh, this is a patient that we saw, 18-year-old female that came in for a second opinion exam actually. Was told that she needed like 10 fillings at a previous exam and the parents were suspicious so they booked a second opinion for her. Um, and these were the bite wings. Uh, the 1-5 is a D1 at this point and uh, in my practice that is getting to the point that it should be restored. All the rest of the teeth have E1 or E2 lesions, which uh, in my opinion are best managed with uh, oral hygiene instruction and periodic uh, recalls. Um, I've been practicing dentistry for six years and um, you know the vast majority of these things look the same on follow-up, especially if you tell the patient that they have a starter cavity. Give them a water pick, give them a Sonicare, give them ClinPro 5000, Tell them to stay away from sugary beverages and nine times out of 10, that's going to um, result in behavior modifications that are going to keep these things from progressing any further. So that's how I practice. That's how I would want my teeth treated. So as for the procedural footage, uh, super routine bread and butter uh, restoration, I'm gonna do a occlusal dovetail slot prep matrix with a sectional band and then restore with um, Equia Forte. So uh, we'll get into the full uh, footage here, finish off with a round diamond and then send the patient home. So for the full footage, we're gonna start with um, anesthesia. We're gonna put um, one and 200 articane into the buccal vestibule. And then uh, I personally actually like to anesthetize the uh, paddle gingiva anytime I'm doing an upper class two uh, restoration. So then we'll put a uh, rubber dam on the six to the midline and uh, a little tricky with the clamp there but we'll get the clamp on the six tuck the dam under the wings and then floss the rest of it through the contacts to isolate the quadrant adjust the clamp there the rubber dam is kind of tugging on it so and then we'll snip the septum so that it doesn't get in the way a little bit left in the contact there but we'll get that out and then we'll start to prep. Um, I like to do an occlusal dovetail for all my class twos, and then we'll start doing a slot prep and um, fish the rest of that septum out. And usually class twos, you know, if I can get direct vision, then I'll take it. So for a situation like this, I'll have the patient look all the way to the left and then move to nine o'clock, 10 o'clock uh, to do the uh, interproximal um, preparation. And then I'll just go back and forth with the mirror, uh, checking to see where um, where the tooth needs more reduction, checking again, seeing that we still need some more on the lingual there. So we'll do some more lingual reduction and then just going back and forth until we're satisfied with, uh, with the interproximal uh, preparation. So we'll just carry on like that. Still a ways to go. Once I get close, sometimes I'll take a, uh, a carbide flame to to open up the rest of the contact and getting close enough there that let's grab the carbide flame and kind of just open up the contact and then we will refine the dovetail with the round diamond and then smooth off any kind of sharp edges in the prep before uh, going to restore and uh, that's pretty much good to go there so we'll grab our sectional band and put it in between the teeth, I like to put apical pressure on it and then kind of shimmy the wedge in and out so that the band goes as deep into the sulcus as you can get it. I'll put on the separator ring and then push it apically, give it a little bit of a shake to uh, separate the PDLs as much as possible to get a good contact. And then we'll burnish uh, with the ball burnisher against the neighboring tooth and that's going to be good to go. I like to use Equia Forte, kind of etch for five seconds, rinse dry, apply the material, pack it in with a moist cotton pellet, leave it for five minutes or so, and then we'll come back, remove the uh, sectional uh, assembly, and then I'll usually take an explorer and uh, t get the wings out from the, uh, the restorative material so that we can remove the band with some how pliers without damaging it. And then I'm going to use this uh, super large round diamond on a, on a slow speed. I get this from Strauss. And then uh, start checking the bite. I didn't get contact there. I have not bite down grind. Sees a high spot on the um, restorative material. So we'll take that down until we have um, contact on the uh, natural tooth. Still a little ways to go there, but uh, getting close. And that's pretty much going to be that one. We'll make some finishing touches, make sure there's no 
contact on the restorative material and then uh and then varnish with the equia coat product and then that's going to be it for this one send the patient home with like i say ClinPro, electric toothbrush check with a floss water pick tell them to use it twice a day and then get them back in a year